Yeah. I swear, this place... This is really a sewer level. It's labyrinthine and it's not very interesting. And it's full of bullshit. Two, okay, so we have two weapon limits, regenerating health, and a sewer level that is quite shit. This game predicted so many video game tropes of today is quite amazing. You press on diligently, counting the steps that take you along the sewer until you reach a narrow vault a little over 150 yards from the previous junction. An iron ladder, its rungs pitted with rust, rises out of the water to an arched stone door. Beneath the door, the sewer continues into the darkness. Do you wish to climb the ladder and investigate the arched door, or would you rather continue along the passage? I have no idea. I just feel like making a curse the cowardly dog and just to scream at my problems. Right, do the, other of you, do the two other of you have anything constructive to say? Well, the door might lead into something. Okay, let's look. So you climb the ladder. Yeah. The door is old and decayed. It has not been opened for over a hundred years. If you are to find out what lies beyond it, you will have to clear away the dirt that jams the hinges. And you have neither nexus or nor size search. Only brute force will break the seal of encrusted filth and open the door. <laughs> so, that means you are now in combat with a sewer door. <laughs> well, at least it's not a tree. <laughs> well, it's made of wood, so it's sort of a tree. Ah, yeah. die, 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 die! In any case, uh, give me a robot die. Six. Right. You batter the door with all your force and can hear it splinter onto your assault, though it is quite tiresome. This strenuous activity causes you to lose one point of in, uh, endurance from fatigue. You will never take me alive. I will stand my ground, not like I have a choice. Right. Give it a roll again. Ryan? Right, with a mighty yell and a heave ho, you sent the door into the other room in splendors. I imagine more like a kick, but yeah. The old stone door creaks slowly open. No, it didn't. They sent it flying across the room. Where are you paying attention? <laughs> Jeez. And as the dust settles, you find yourself staring into the crypt of Takara Cathedral. Stepping into the chill, still air, your heart begins to pound in your chest. The law stone is here. You can feel it. Beams of ash and moonlight filters into the crypt, illuminating a line of sombre granite tombs that lie like sleeping giants under the earth. Clutching the small silver key, you examine them one by one for the lock that guards the legendary law stone. You find the lock and insert the key, but you are suddenly distracted on the brink of discovery by the creature that is advancing through the sewer door. Shit! A oh. huge lumbering monster stalks towards you. It is over ten feet high, but thick, twisted, hairy limbs and eight fingered hands, tipped with by razor sharp talons. It's the Tagomyth thing again. Yes, it's the Tagomyth. Okay, do oh, you Tagomyth. Yeah, whatever. In any case, do you have a bow and do you wish to use it? No, and therefore no. Right. And by the way, I just need to ask myself, what are we screaming at? Last time it had any log in just shoving us down a hole and then pouring acid on us. Maybe we can actually fight it. Well, the hideous creature gurgles with anger and springs forward to attack. It's immune to psychic powers. Mm. Like oh, we need that. Hmm. <clears throat> right. Give an ear. Uh, oh, hey, by the way, your combat skill is 27 then, right? Yeah. Right, okay. Just want to make sure. Rover die. Ten. Ten. Wow. You start out the battle with a fearsome blow that would pulverize lesser mortal men. As it stands, the beast is just sent backward in shock at your complete and utter defiance of its monstrous form. It is not used to this kind of resistance. Roll the die again. Three. It recovers, however, and decides to reward your defiance with a fierce blow right to the, uh, your head. Or at least it tries to. You dodge and weave all over the place and refuse to stand still like a good victim. So it only manages to scrape you and give you a three po uh, points of damage. You, on the other hand, carve open its sides and would have spilled candy everywhere if it had been a piñata. 
<laughs> Imagine if everything we have killed thus far has just been piñatas. Robert, die again. Seven. The beast stomps on the ground like a child throwing a tantrum and your complete inability to just freaking die. <laughs> it swings its massive claw, its massive tails, everything it's got is swinging all over the place, just trying to hit you as you run all over the place. Why won't you just stand still and die? It seems to roar at you as it lightly grazes the si your side with a blow from its tail that manages to give you a bruise. You lose one endurance, uh, point of endurance. And then you go you go completely blend on its ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the crypt floor is crawling with the severed remains of the monster, which still drive blindly forward with maniacal intent. It's basically the Black Knight of Monsters. <laughs> Oh dear! I think you broke Lana. Yeah. <laughs> Let him laugh. Take a moment to calm down. It's okay. <laughs> Do we have some Valium somewhere? No. Okay. Okay. I called oh, Valium. Valium. Sorry. What the fuck the hell is this? Sorry. 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 I will try and keep it down a notch. It threatens to bite off your kneecaps. <laughs> Spider-like, a severed hand climbs your leg and embeds its talons in your flesh. You lose two endurance point. <laughs> yeah, that thing's not giving up. As you fight to free yourself from its vice-like grip, the thorn torn pieces of the Dacomit's body gather themselves together for another attack. Do you wish to leap forward and strike the creature before it has completely formed? Or would you rather use the timeout to unlock the tomb and retrieve the lore stone? I say we press the attack until there's nothing left. The only way to be sure. And the rest of you say? Agreed. Okay, let's try that then. No kill like overkill. The deck emits shudders and reels back as your weapon makes impact, sinking deep into flesh that clings like jelly and reeks of a charnel smell that closes your throat. A drop of its watery blood splashes on your arm, eating through your tunic and searing your flesh. Your weapon disintegrates, corroded by the blood. God damn it! Before you can pull away, a razor sharp talent snares your cloak and draws you to your doom. Your life and your quest end here in the crypt that was of the That the 13th time I died! Oops. So that um, was the unlucky time we died. Yep. Though they're all being quite unfortunate. So this time... You they attacked a blended monster and it ended up backfiring spectacularly. Okay, uh, Rana, right, devoured by Cthuloid monstrosity. A blended Cthuloid monstrosity. Yeah. Yeah, I do not know how to say Cthuloid, so I just said. Okay, uh, just give him over now, riding in Skype. Yeah. Uh, so I guess that your next move is to ignore the monstrosity and just unlock the tomb and retrieve the damn lost stone. Yeah. yeah. As the door creaks open, a sun-like radiance pours from the tomb and floods the crib with golden light, its searing intensity paralyzing the Dacomit. You grasp the lost stone and you sense real with newfound wisdom and strength. Instinctively you raise your weapon and strike the monster at the base of its hideous skull. It shrieks and dies instantly. Oh, and you have to erase the small silver key from your action chart. Alright. I sort of imagined the whole thing, now I can kill you, and then just clubbing for its head with a sword, and it just going, eep, and dying. Before your eyes, the decommit skin ripples as if a wave were washing beneath its skin. Suddenly a crisscross of wrinkling appear, and layers of transparent bone peel and fall from its shell-like skull. Its body becomes hunched, shrinking, and folding by a second until all that is left is a film of dust on the floor of the crypt. Time has at last caught up with this ancient terror. Well, and finally we get a picture of the damn thing! So, I can assume that we still have the summer sweat? Yep, it, yeah. only, it was only dissolved when you attacked it. That's some strong acid this damn thing has. Anyway, picture time, just a moment. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What the fuck is up with its eyes? It looks kind of it kind of bugged. Eyes. What the fuck is up with its boobs? It just. Oh my god! It actually has. Jesus yep. Christ! Those looks. I thought it was some kind of 
uh, scaly arm or something like that, but no, oh god, okay, nothing. Um, I know and he's wearing that. a shower cap. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I know I've already mentioned what the fuck is wrong with you, but I'd like to quote, I'd like to come with a quote from one of Nash's other series. Specifically, here there be dragons. Uh, and this is from Space Guy. Stop. Is that a bird? Uh, kind of, sort of. Does it have boobs? Um, yes. Yes, it does. As we does go it have normally have boobs? <laughs> I really know. Why does it have boobs? <laughs> well, because it is a, it's an enchanted grandma. It's not a grandma! God damn it! Anyway, moving on from that horrid imagery, as the golden light begins to fade, you stare at the object of your quest, the Lawstone of Veretta. But all that you hold in your hand is a hollow sphere of glass, transparent and unremarkable to look at. Your quest has succeeded, for the power of the Lawstone has been transfused into your body and mind. Its strength and wisdom is now a part of you. And the transfusion signals the beginning of a new and deadly challenge on your quest for the Magma Kai. But be warned, the quest will draw you into a sinister realm where a malicious and terrible evil has grown in power since Sun Eagle first completed the Magma Kai quest. If you possess the courage of a true Kai master, the challenge and the quest await you in the next book. Yeah, I sort of think we do possess that. Right, so that was Kingdoms of Terror. What did you think? I will let you go first on this one. Okay, the sewer level was fucking exhausting, but otherwise it was a very good, good adventure. It has some really funny looking monsters. Among them, an enchanted naked grandma. No, it wasn't a grandma! <laughs> With boobs! No, it wasn't! You know, as far as I'm aware, and I'm not the type who will take so, so many looks in that general direction, but as far as I'm aware, most grandmas have those. <laughs> but the idea that someone is going to just say, yeah, hey, well, this, no, this is what you're going to do after you die. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right. That's a bit unusual. <laughs> Anyways, um, I like that uh, magician we met, some reals. It was, pre it was pretty sad that he died. I hate that guy, Raw. He was, I think, purpose. <laughs> he was annoying. I'm pretty sure he was supposed to be. Yeah, I kind of imagine he would be the last boss of this, but no, instead, this grandma lizard shows up instead. Yeah, maybe we'll meet him again later. Probably. I like the, mer I like the mercenary captain. He was fucking cool. Yeah, hopefully he survived. Yeah. I gotta say, um, I uh, kind of like the mages, um, no, the sages reaction when we just stepped in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like stepping into a room full of fangirls. I like the fact that I was like that Gwynion, he was the only one who actually <laughs> kept calm. The others were like, Wah! Yeah. And quite interesting <laughs> that he was a character from an earlier book. Did not see that coming. Yeah. Now, I would like to just add the following. As for this lordling we battled, what was his name? Rourke? Yep. I really want to add that. The only way I could like him is if we had a cliff, and under that cliff we had sharks, and we played human yo-yo with him. Will be fun. So, anyway. No, Rana, that's animal cruelty. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, do any of you have anything else to add to this? No, not really. <laughs> no, not really. Nope. Nothing else than the fact that I got a little shocked when we risked losing the Somersphere, but... Uh, yeah, but yeah. instead you lost your spear. That thing hadn't been uh, used for anything at all ever since the second book anyway, so yeah. But yeah, still, but st there was like plants that ate a magic spear. That's still something. Terrifying, if you ask me. So, um, this has been Eric Cobra. And Ron and Araja. And Warlord Ron. Thank you, Vinia. And this has been Let's Play Lone Wolf Blind. See you all around. See you around, folks. See ya! Bye, bye, bye.